Good morning, darklings. So, your girl created a really fun tarot tag this morning. I just woke up with the idea and it seemed like fun. What if you could date your tarot decks? What personality would they have? Where would you meet? Like, manifest your decks into the perfect lover, perfect date. And tell me your choices. I didn't bring all my decks I'm filming at my boyfriend's house, so I will show the other decks I don't have for my choices on the screen. Feel free, if you do this, to um, show your decks and cards. I'm not going to do that. We're going to go by the covers on the boxes today, but do it however you want. Number one, I chose none other than the Starman Tarot. So we met at a nightclub where we had the sensual chemistry dancing on the dance floor. So we took it home for a hot one night stand. Number two, the Lion Stride Tarot. We met at the beach. He was walking his dog, minding his own business and the dog led him right to me. I fell in love with his dog more than I did him, and stayed with him for the dog. Number three, Oracle of Visions. We met at a masquerade party. He never took off his mask, giving mysterious and intrigue with a little bit of fear, like, who are you? So we end up sneaking off to an empty room upstairs of the mansion where nobody could see us. And, um, we hooked up. Number four, the runic tarot. We met at a resort in Norway and he was a rough, rugged looking man. My type. He took me to a cabin where I watched him wrestle a bear to impress me. Then inside the cabin later made me a homemade stew from some animal he caught in the woods hunting the other day. And uh, we end up watching movies all night together while making out. Number five, the Dark Woods Tarot. We met at a pagan festival. We swapped a few tips for spells and rituals and such and really got into deep topics about magic. And when the moon, the full moon rose that night, he shifted into a werewolf. So I thought, what a wonderful pet and companion to have beside me for the rest of my life. Number six, Tarot of Vampires. We met on the dark streets of New Orleans and he showed me his grave at the cemetery. He laid me down gently on top of the sarcophagus with candles lit nearby and we passionately, you know what, and I realized the next day that I was hypnotized the entire time and now I have a scar from bite marks on my neck. Number seven, the macabre tarot. We met at a bookstore and went to an art gallery for our first date. But when I went to his house, I left screaming, realizing that he was a Jeffrey Dahmer copycat. Alice in Wonderland tarot. We met at work. He was always a warrior and anxious and uptight. So I was a little hesitant when he asked me out on a date. But uh, we ended up taking some LSD and having a Harold and Kumar type of night. We had adventures all night full of fun and scary, risky moments. It was a great time. Number nine, the Light Seers Tarot. This is my only healthy relationship. The only one that wasn't toxic. That helped me grow. The light of my life. He's my soulmate. And finally, number 10, the Marvel Tarot. I met this guy at Comic-Con where we were cosplaying as X-Men and we joined a competition and I beat him. After, he takes me home to see his action figure collection and we end up gaming and looking at comics all night. I hope you enjoyed this and please, I wished I could have done like a walkthrough of these decks as I was making up these date stories, but I thought this was really fun and really 
creative and I think it'd be really cute to hear the community's answers too. So if you were going to date your decks, what kind of date would it turn out to be?